Synthetic datasets are artificially crafted datasets designed to replicate real-world data without being directly sourced from actual observations or measurements. These datasets are usually generated using algorithms, simulations, or generative models to emulate patterns, structures, and features resembling those present in genuine data. They find extensive utility in scenarios where acquiring authentic data is difficult, expensive, or constrained. Synthetic datasets serve as uh, viable alternatives to real data across a spectrum of applications encompassing machine learning, data analysis, and testing purposes. Here are some key aspects to grasp regarding synthetic datasets. Data generation. The process of crafting synthetic data involves the establishment of rules, distributions, or mathematical models that dictate how individual data points are generated. These rules are meticulously designed to replicate the statistical characteristics and relationships observed in actual real-world data. Controlled experiments. Synthetic datasets prove to be immensely valuable in the realm of controlled experiments. They grant researchers precise control over various data parameters, such as volume, distribution, and noise levels. This level of control enables scientists to conduct experiments with a high degree of precision, allowing for the testing of specific hypothesis and the thorough evaluation of algorithms privacy and security. In situations involving sensitive or confidential real data, synthetic datasets offer a secure solution for data sharing without compromising individual privacy. It's important to note that synthetic data does not contain any genuine personal information, making it a safer option for various applications. Data augmentation. Within the field of machine learning, synthetic data can serve as a complementary resource to real datasets. By generating synthetic data, researchers can significantly increase the quantity of training data available. This augmentation of data can potentially lead to enhanced model performance and generalization. Validation and testing. Synthetic datasets play a practical role in the validation and testing of algorithms, software, and systems. This becomes especially valuable when authentic real data Authentic real-world data is either scarce uh, or not readily accessible. Synthetic data provides a controlled and accessible alternative for testing and refining various applications. Synthetic datasets find applications across diverse domains, including image data, text data, and time series data. To illustrate, in the field of computer vision, researchers have the ability to generate synthetic images depicting objects or scenes. These synthetic images serve as valuable assets for both training and assessing the performance of image recognition algorithms, facilitating rigorous testing and algorithm refinement. Nevertheless, it is essential to acknowledge that despite their advantages, synthetic datasets have inherent limitations. Synthetic data may not fully capture the intricate nuances and complexities present in real-world data. The quality and practicability of synthetic data hinge upon the precision of the underlying models and assumptions utilized during their creation. Researchers should exercise caution regarding these limitations when integrating synthetic data into their applications. To sum up what has been discussed here, synthetic datasets assume a pivotal role in the realms of data science, research, and machine learning. They offer a flexible and controlled means of generating data for various purposes, particularly when access to genuine data is limited or constrained. The performance of a fine-tuned large language model is critically dependent on the quality and relevance of the dataset it's trained on.
For fine-tuning to be effective, one must use task-specific datasets that are well curated and annotated. Here's a closer look at the importance of these datasets and annotations. Relevance. The dataset should be closely related to the final task the LLM is expected to perform. For instance, for medical diagnosis predictions, a dataset of medical records with diagnostic annotations would be ideal. Bias and fairness. It's crucial to ensure that the dataset is free from biases. A biased dataset can lead to a model that makes unfair or incorrect predictions, perpetuating stereotypes or making decisions that could have negative real-world consequences. Quality. It has been shown that you can fine-tune your model on 1,000 examples and with one bad example, your model can go off rails. Therefore, it is very important to pay attention to the data cleaning process for a more performant model. Fortunately, H2O AI offers a solution that handles this aspect seamlessly, as we've already discussed in our previous course. I'm referring to LLM Data Studio, which is an excellent tool for enhancing your understanding of the datasets you work with, especially when dealing with large language models. This suite serves as a versatile central tool suitable for various application formats and provides valuable insights into your datasets. Consider it as an auto-EDA, Automated Exploratory Data Analysis, designed explicitly for large language models. It enables you to easily examine data details, biases, and phrases all at once with just a single glance. In essence, the quality of fine-tuning is as good as the dataset it's based on ensuring that the data is relevant, diverse, unbiased, and well annotated is paramount for achieving the desired performance in the target task. The need for fine-tuning also varies based on the specific task you're working on. I encourage you to explore the H2O GPT Democratizing Large Language Models paper uh, when you have the opportunity. In that paper, we introduce a base model that already possesses the mentioned capabilities. Capabilities from H2O GPT include offering fine-tuned LLM models with parameter counts ranging from 7 to 40 billion, all licensed permissively. These models are crafted to address the challenges and risks associated with advanced language models such as GPT-4, including issues related to bias, privacy, and copyright. The use of open source LLMs fosters accessibility, transparency, and fairness in the realm of AI development, making it more attainable for a wider audience and ensuring the equitable distribution of AI advantages. Continuing with the process of building steps for LLMs that you are already familiar with, once you've obtained your desired dataset and have pre-processed it using a data preparation tool like LLM Data Studio, allowing you to generate instruction prompt pairs automatically, you can proceed to the next stage, fine-tuning your model. When fine-tuning large language models, LLMs, we utilize a pre-trained backbone, fine-tuning it to our dataset. Backbones are highly beneficial in this process as they offer a foundation of pre-learned language knowledge and understanding, making the fine-tuning process more efficient. Here is how backbones assist in fine-tuning. Transfer learning. Backbones are pre-trained on extensive text data, capturing language patterns, grammar, and common knowledge. These features serve as a strong starting point for task-specific learning, reducing the need for extensive training data and time. Domain adaptation. For domain-specific tasks like medical or legal texts, backbones bridge the gap between a general language model and specialized domains. Fine-tuning on domain-specific data allows effective adaptation. Parameter efficiency. Backbones have numerous parameters and fine-tuning involves modifying only 
a fraction. This parameter efficiency makes fine-tuning more data-efficient and resource-friendly compared to training from scratch. Speed and resource savings. Fine-tuning on a pre-trained backbone is faster and more resource-efficient than training a model from scratch, making it practical for many applications. Improved performance. Backbones provide a language understanding foundation, enhancing model performance when fine-tuned for specific tasks. To choose the right backbone for your fine-tuning task, we have a couple of tips to take it into consideration. Understand your task, considering data type and nuances. Analyze your specific task's requirements thoroughly. Is it a text classification task? text generation, translation, or something else. Consider the nuances within your data. Are there domain-specific terms, jargon, or linguistic intricacies you need to address during fine-tuning? Research available pre-trained models matching architecture to tasks requirements. Explore the landscape of pre-trained language models, including models like GPT, BERT, Roberta, and others. Match the model architecture to your task's requirements. For example, models like BERT excel in token-level tasks, while GPT is strong in text generation. Consider model size taking into account computational resources and budget. Model size affects performance and resource requirements. Larger models generally perform better but demand more computational power and storage. Assess whether your hardware and budget can accommodate the chosen model size. Evaluate fine-tuning data quality and quantity. Assess the quality of your fine-tuning dataset. Is it representative of your task-free from non noise and well labeled, consider the quantity of data available. Smaller datasets may benefit from larger pre-trained models. Match the domain of your task to the model's pre-training or fine-tuning focus. Some models are pre-trained on general text, while others are fine-tuned for specific domains like legal, healthcare, or finance. Choose a model that aligns with your task's domain to leverage pre-trained knowledge efficiently. Assess multilingual capabilities if needed. If your task involves multiple languages, look for models with strong multilingual capabilities. Models like MBERT or XLMR are designed for cross-lingual tasks. Ensure your hardware can support the chosen backbone. Check the hardware requirements of the selected model, including GPU memory, CPU resources, and storage capacity. Ensure your hardware infrastructure aligns with these requirements. Check the model's performance on benchmarks or similar tasks. Investigate how the chosen model has performed in benchmarks or tasks similar to yours. Benchmark results can provide insights into the model's strengths and weaknesses. Look for active communities and extensive documentation for support. Active user communities and comprehensive documentation can be invaluable for troubleshooting, fine-tuning guidance, and addressing issues that may arise during your project. Don't hesitate to experiment and adjust based on results. Fine-tuning is an iterative process. Be open to experimenting with different models, hyperparameters, and strategies. Continuously evaluate and adjust your approach based on the results and performance metrics specific to your task. By considering these factors and adapting them to your unique project requirements, you can make informed decisions when selecting and fine-tuning a language model backbone for your task.